Hold up, Beard. Didn't you already do this exact video not too long ago? Sure did, friends. But here's the thing. Not only was the original released over two weeks ago itself, plenty has changed since, in case you didn't notice, three hot fixes came out right after it. New circuits have been introduced, old ones have been tweaked, and some quote-unquote hidden mechanics have been found. So then, instead of having the information spread across four separate videos, I thought we fire through the 15 circuits once more while the update's officially out. Let's get to it. And we'll start with the adjusted hardy circuit here as not only has its recipe changed to not requiring two bio data and one spider gland, we will also have to scan a spider to unlock its craft moving forward, something we didn't have to do before. But each circuit will still take up one slot each and will raise our maximum health by 50 per socket filled. Super hardy circuits, on the other hand, still take up two slots each, however they will also be raising our maximum health by 150 per circuit instead, so that makes up for it. Be sure to scan a nurse spider to unlock the recipe, and craft one via four bio data, two spider glands, and a hardy circuit itself to take advantage of the potential tankiness. One of the many hotfixes released over these last two weeks introduced a new single slot processing circuit, costing one bio data, one flower petal, and a scanned butterfly now, and each circuit will increase our maximum sanities by 40 per socket. Now I for one don't pay too much mind to the stat boosting circuits, however these single slaughters have definitely improved over time, so don't ignore them. Super processing circuits are still around though, and changed a little bit since initial release too. They are still costing 3 bio data and nightmare fuel, but now a normal processing is required, so make note there. They still take up two slots each, but now increase our maximum sanities by 100 per circuit. And while scanned nightmares have always generated the recipe, now every single nightmare in the game is an option there. Oh, and don't forget, it has a built-in, small yet still kinda welcomed, plus two sanity per minute sanity regeneration effect too. Bean Boosters underwent a bit of a name change from Drone Masters, and a recipe change is also present, as it went from costing jelly beans to royal jelly instead. But that's not all folks, their regens have been made more effective. One Bean Booster will restore 5 health every 30 seconds, with two up in that to 10 health every 30 seconds and it too will also regenerate plus two sanity per minute at the end of the day, which is kinda nice. We still need to scan the Bee Queen to get him, mind you. Chorus Box Circuits continue to soothe the minds of those who hear it by roughly five per minute nowadays, which is pretty darn good. And yes, this does include other players who are nearby, as you can see. One is all you need for a regen, however two is obviously gonna make things more effective, but also completes the song that actually plays too, which is kinda fun. And yes, it will still tend to plants in your farm plots. So be sure to scan Pearl or the Crab King to unlock it if you want it. Yet another new single slot circuit is here in the Gastro Gain circuit, costing two bio data, a hound tooth, and a scanned hound, mind you. And each socketed circuit will increase our maximum hungers by 40 points each time. Once again, this is one I really won't be bothering with personally, but that doesn't make it bad. And heck, if you were to scan a Slurper and or Berger in order to turn these single slaughters into super gastro gain circuits, things are gonna get even better. These take up two slots each, yes, however they will also increase maximum hungers by 100, and as an added bonus, at least one is needed to reduce the overall hunger drains of any survivor you're playing by 15%, maybe even a little bit more, mind you. The recipe has also gotten cheaper over time, so that's nice. Acceleration circuits are still the only ones to take up all six slots for whatever reason, and while we do gain a plus 25% speed boost at all times at the cost of a scanned rabbit, one bio data, and a rabbit itself, I'm still not convinced that this is worth it at all, because anyone in their right minds is gonna try to immediately up 
upgrade said acceleration circuits to the super acceleration circuits here via scanning Rooks or the Ancient Guardian for a 25, 40, and 50% speed boost, respectively. You will be needing 6 biodata, 1 gear, and 1 acceleration circuit per super circuit, though, which could get out of hand, but here's the thing. You should probably only use one of these. Thermal circuits are next, costing 4 biodata, 1 red gem, and a scan dragonfly and or firehound now, mind you. And thermal circuits can radiate heat for other players, as you can see. And even just one can prevent WX-78 from freezing, which is absolutely huge. Be mindful, though. Having one socketed will spoil all perishables 25% faster than normal, which could backfire if you ain't careful. But here's something I didn't even know until today. Thermal circuits also dry WX off faster. It's only 10% faster, however it is quite noticeable. Refrigerant circuits can now be unlocked via ice hound scans as well as deer clops and will do pretty much the exact opposite of the thermals. They will cool off WX and those around them. One is all we will need to counter overheating. Perishables spoil 25% slower of course, but here's where things get very unique. Wetness plus the refrigerants. In short, these circuits can help us farm infinite ice as we continue to reach extremely high wetness over and over and over again. Yup. It's a thing, and still is after the official release. Learn more here. Electrification circuits haven't changed too much, however the reflected damage now factors in the wetness of whatever's attacking you, so that's nice. Scan a vault code as soon as possible for the chance to reflect 20 damage per circuit normally, and that can reach some pretty darn stupid levels of stupidity when it comes to potentially killing raid bosses without a single weapon. So have fun. Opto electronic circuits are another that hasn't changed much beyond costing a Firefly now, so they're still amazingly cheap and quickly accessible light sources that are indeed still infinite, therefore they're still one of the best ones out there. And last, and perhaps not so much least anymore, the Illumination Circuits. Scan a Bulbous Light Bug, Skitter Squid, or a Depth Worm to unlock the thing, and since they have been dropped to a 3 slaughter, it's actually a worthy competitor to the Opto Electronic one now. Use these above ground and opt those below pretty much. Have fun. And there you have it everyone. Hopefully a quick recap on all the WX78 rework circuits to help put all the information in one place. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching folks. Well wish to all. Potentially some more beeps and boops might be on the way to further concentrate info in one place. But I'll see you in the next one regardless. Bye bye.